Welcome back to Rugby and Part 3 here, just out on the course on one of the greens. Beautiful green, like carpet, Jonesy. It's beautiful, that's why I've got no shoes on. <laughs> right now, check out two new characters with Waggers Dupley. Hee hee! Oi, oi! Bonjour, c'est pas mon ami! Jibbaj! Oi, oi, oi! Bonjour, c'est pas mon ami! Je m'appelle Fiopaj! I'm from France, France, the future world champion of rugby league. Myself and my one are very happy with the turn out to one in time. But if you do not come support us, we will start a new club in the France. No, no Paris. We don't like Paris. Li yes, we do not like no. Paris. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dean, he listens to my advice. We mix up with a family. We eat together. We, we eat baguettes together. Cheese. We bake bread. We look at the art. Very inspirational. For your page. Do not forget money. Jonesy, two characters there from uh, Wagger, Theo Fage and Albert Kelly. Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. All is outstanding. He's getting better as well, isn't he? He's getting better. He's getting more confident with it. And I think that we've taken the fancy dress, the Rob Burrow fancy dress, went to another level. Have you spoke to Rob about it? I have. He texts me. He texts me. He says, Jonesy, will you send me a bit of a link or a, 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 a VT for that? Wagger do believe that he did to me and uh, to be fair all lads are really good they yeah. all buy into it don't they they love, they, they love a bit of attention to be honest with you I, I think there's a few I think there's a few of them who might get rubbed up the wrong way so we need to we need to make sure we get them get them involved it's all part of banter I'd, I'd be surprised if people get this fine rugby league and you're rubbed up wrong way by getting Mick taken at you uh, right we've got we've got a few boys uh, around the course today so I thought we'll have a me and you waffle about what happened this weekend we'd ask them about their thoughts on last weekend Super League this is uh, Gazelle's Leon Price and their thoughts on the whole game. What do we know? Welcome back to Rugby Am. Uh, fantastic to see Wagger back in action on Dupe League. Pricey, there has been talk of you being duped this year. How do you feel about Wagger getting you? Not really happy about that, to be honest. Would you not be happy? No. He, he said he's going to dress up as the Pepper Army man. Scoring tries. Scoring tries, yeah. Scoring tries for fun. It's all right then if it's not, not too bad. Gaz, good to see you here, mate. You've been here a couple of times before. We've got a new trophy this year. What do you think of the claret jug? It looks impressive. It's it all right, isn't it? very impressive, yeah. Could it be G Ellis following J Donaldson? I doubt it because I think I didn't lie enough on when I ended my handicap in <laughs> <laughs> at the start. What, what are you going off on? Uh, 18. 18. Yeah. Might, yeah. Do, might do all right. Price, what are you playing off on today? 26, 28, something like that. Same as I'm me. I'm a bit of a shocker at the moment. <laughs> yeah. It, it, I'm it, sorry it, for fun. I've come for the come for the enjoyment and uh, yeah. kind of madre and having a good laugh more yeah. to win the trophy. I reckon, Price, you're already the champion of the darts. darts. You're already the champion of the darts. Yeah, I, got, I, got, I had a good partner there. You had a great yeah, partner, John Lowe. Yeah. Uh, John Boy. Recently, you've been going really well. Hull of like like top four form, but what's what's changed? Beginning of the season at Easter, people were calling for Radder's head. Yeah. What's changed? We still want him out. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you know what I'm talking about. I bet you know what I'm talking about. I think um, I think the conf uh, bit of confidence we've got back in. I think you can't take for granted having your, your top class, um, top starting team like we've got. Probably we had uh, Mickey Pay our guys out for seven weeks. We had uh, two or three other injuries out all at the same time, and uh, you know. He, he, it's hard. It's hard when you've not got your top, your top starting team out and changed a little bit of his attacking play. Got his injuries back. Got a bit of confidence. We've always had a good defence. Yeah. So that's the main thing really in Super League. If you've got in any rugby games, you've got a good defence. So getting the injuries and suspensions back has helped us massively. Guys, there's some good back rows in Super League. Warrington springs to mind with the with the two bends, the, well the tr the three bends, but yourself and Minicello and Westy. That's a that's a great back three. Yeah, we're doing we're doing all right, and like I say, it's it's, it's good to have all three of us on the field. Um, apart from Minnie, who's been been out there, you know, week in week out, uh, myself and Westy have had a bit of time 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 off the field. So now we're all back out there, um, 
Yeah, it's good to see us all playing good, some good rugby. Um, but Anthony, Anthony uh, Matt Mitchell has been absolutely outstanding. For unbelievable, us. absolutely unbelievable. Is he the strongest man in the world? No, oh, he's, he's in it. But I think when you sign Australians, you know, you, you're obviously looking for that for, the, for good players. Yeah. But he also adds a lot to the to the club and to the team. He's you know, a great bloke. He's a great bloke. Yeah. He's a real good professional. He's, he's a real good bloke to have around the place. You've got a lot of experience in your squad, and you've got some good young players coming through. Uh, the young winger, he's he's doing pretty well for you. It was like Noggers. Noggers, yeah, 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 yeah. big pal. Well, he's, he's got a nat trick, and then unfortunately for him, he got injured in the first ten minutes against St. Helens, so he's missed a couple of weeks. So, not really been able to capitalise on his on his good form when he has played. So, hopefully, the next time he gets another chance to play in the team, he'll he'll uh, you know score a couple more tries and, and stay in the team and get a good run. What's a successful season for Hull this year, Gaz? Because you know, obviously, the Challenge Cup's coming up now. You've you've lost two. You've won five. Could could we see a Challenge Cup win this year? I know you've got Leeds next, which is, is obviously a really tough game, but you're at home. Do you fancy your chances? Oh, without a doubt. You know, it's certainly something that's missing off my uh, CV. You know, it's something that I'd, I'd, I'd love to... Uh I'd love to get um, something like you've you've said has eluded me over the, over the course of my career because it, it's a tough competition to win. Yeah. You know you've got to you've got to go out there and, and beat your best on the day. Um, and obviously we I failed to do that on a couple of occasions, but it'd be nice to do it again this year. You put some big hits on this year. I don't know who it was last week. They run, they run um, into Amber. Amber. <laughs> three times. Oh my I god! Dreamed. I felt sorry for him. I felt it on the sofa, <laughs> watching on the I sofa. Went, I went right next to it. Did, did you stand over going, yeah? <laughs> To be honest, it's just desperation. <laughs> the, 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 my theory is, if I if I tackle hard, hopefully they don't run at me. It won't, it won't work at the weekend. Price, so you and Sneedy have got a real combination going this season. That's what the old fans well. I've got a guy called Stephen Cox. He tweets me all the time. He's a mad, passionate old fan. Great bloke. I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, I've never met a man who cares so much about a club. Yeah. And there seems to be that about all the whole fans. They're yeah. really passionate. They're really passionate. Club, is, yeah. is it time that they've had a great six and seven? Are yeah. You, you I, think, deliver, yeah right? I think that's you know obviously it's one of the reasons why I signed for the club. I knew that I struggled in recent years for a, you know a, a, a good combination of halfbacks. But like good half, good combinations don't click within four or five weeks, and I think people need to remember that. And over a period of time, we've slowly but surely got back. In, I think Sneedy missed three games at the start of the season, and he came back about three or four weeks ago. And gradually, we've built up a good combination and started both to start hit, hit some form as individuals and as a combination. And I think it's you know it's no it's no secret of the success of the team started to um, to have now after we, we started to find a little bit of form. Wait, how many years have you been playing now? 1998, first year. And that show and go still working and treating it. <laughs> We're still falling for it every time. I, 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 need, I need it to, I don't, well, I need it to work a little bit more. Hopefully, I've still got a couple more years left, hopefully. Boys, have a, have a great round today. I won't let you touch the trophy because I know it's bad luck yeah. for you, boys. So, oh, I'm not going to win it. <laughs> Gaz, I'm um, going to ask you quickly about the marquee signing. Uh, obviously, you've played in Australia. You've seen how good it is over there. What's the gap like, do you think, coming back to Super League yourself, how big is the gap from where the NRL is now and where we're at in Super League? Um, obviously, in, it's, it's hard to compare the two competitions because the NRL, you know, what I found well, it, it's their number one game, it's the yeah. biggest, you know, it's on TV, you know, four nights a week, and yeah. when it's not been played live, there's, you know, Matty John's on a, on a show, you know, on, on a Monday night, and Gordon Tallis on another show on a Tuesday night, so it's, they're just, Everything they do is it surrounds rugby league, so and that's what get, obviously drives the interest is the, the media coverage and the TV interest, and on the back of that, obviously the, 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 you know, the dollars that, yeah. that, that, that comes with that, which drives everything you know in terms of the game and the, and the financial rewards for the players and the clubs. Yeah, and Price, it, the marquee signing has come in this year. What do you make of it? Do you think it's a good thing for the game, or do you think it's a bad thing? I think it's a good thing that they're trying to keep attract superstars and keep our big players, you know, maybe like a Sam Tompkins, a Burgess, um, James Graham. Just We're just talking about maybe if it was shared out a little bit, maybe over four or five players rather than just a one marquee player, you know, you know, outside sponsors of the game being at a get an extra twenty, thirty thousand pound a year off a off a, yeah. off a sponsor Matt, rather than one signing. So it's spread out a little bit more and more more players feel the effect of it. But that, at least they try and That's what it was while we while I played in Australia. Yeah. I think 
I don't know, it's probably changed since, since I've come back, but I think you, we, we were, they were allowed to have three players that earned fifty thousand dollars outside the salary cap. Yeah. So it allowed, you know, spot like you say, it was an outside sponsor that agreed to pay that. So it wasn't um, it wasn't out of the club's money. So it was it was what sponsors that were willing to say, you know, we want to keep that player or we want to sign that player. We're prepared to give you X amount of dollars to, to do that. And I think, like Leon said, I think you might get a, f a fair and better. Um, uh, pool of players if you could spread that amount of money across a, across a few players rather than just, just that one player. I think it's going to be interesting for next season. A lot of pressure on that marquee player, would you not agree? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A <laughs> lot of money as well, yeah. 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 I mean, I don't know what sort of figures we're talking when we talk about a marquee player. I don't know, you know I suppose it's, it could be anything. Uh, but yeah, I know if you're going to be paying a lot of money, you're going to be wanting someone who's going to be possibly win you a competition. That's yeah, what you'd want for your marquee, it, yeah. your marquee signing. Last but not least, boys, who do you want? To, who do you want as a marquee signing for? If you could pick any player in the world, Price, who would you want to play with next year? I want to go for. Yeah. Um, well, if you're going talking superstars, number one would be probably English, wouldn't it? Yeah. Or Billy Slater, or somebody who's just a complete freak. Yeah, what about yourself? You played in NRL. Would it be an NRL player? Would you go to Union? Is there, is there anyone out there you fancy? Get the hain back. Yeah, yeah the hain playing. The 49ers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I don't mean, know. I, I mean, Sam Burge should be a great yeah. signing. He'd be great for rugby league to have him yeah. back, back, back in yeah. Super League. Um, because, you know, I don't know what his plans are, but whether he's. he's you know, I can see him coming back to rugby league at some stage. Yeah. It'd be nice to see him having a stint in Super League at some stage before he probably goes back to the NRL. Well, good luck to Sammy from everyone as well in rugby league for rugby union World Cup coming up. He's been doing all right, so we'll see how you boys do for the rest of the competition today. Who do you reckon is going to win it, Dark Horse today? Profit probably. Danny Bruff, do you reckon? Yeah, Luke Gale. Luke Gale. Well, he's there. Winner, Luke Gale, winner, previous yeah. winner, going again. Well, thank you, boys. Back to the golf course as we get into the 18th hole. Right, keep it locked right here, rugby. End of part three. You've got loads coming part four. The presentation, Jones. You're going to find out who's win. That's it. It's all about winners and grinners. It's all about the trophies, the silverware. That's what we all compete for. But mate, you're driving today hey. on the tee and on this cart. Be shocking. Do not, do not knock my driving, mate. Here we go. Whee!